Hey everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. Let me go ahead and unpause the game here. We have a raid that's about to come down on us right from this side, which is good because it gives us entrance to this little thing I'm trying to test out. Um, I'm hoping that my guys can actually put... Oh, god damn it. Don't put it inside the fucking pink spot that I'm... Oh, no, you imbeciles. You got... I hate you guys so much. I don't understand what's so hard about putting the goddamn debris inside the fucking pink box. It, it's pink for a reason. Everything else is regular colored, the box is pink. Don't put it next to the pink box, put it inside the pink box. You're ruining the whole purpose of it. Okay, so obviously we're not going to have enough time to... Unfortunately, I was going to set this up so that it would have a harder time getting in here. But now because these guys have no... God, uh, apparently my guys are blind as shit, that's what's happening here I think. They're so blind that they can't see that, oh, there's a pink box over here. Put the stuff in a pink box. No, we're not going to put the stuff in a pink box. We're going to put it inside the pink box. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Either way, let's uh, relax for a second here and let me zoom out. The raid's about to come down on us really, really fucking hard. So it's going to be in my best interest to set these guys up from now, from right here, as a matter of fact. So I believe everybody is selected. So let me just um, militarize everybody. I hope you guys are ready for this. This is going to be a bigger raid than usual. So herb. Herb is my M24 guy. You go all the way back there. Melting Cat, you are kind of like my up-close-and-personal guy. What about you, Moldad? You have an M16, so you kind of uh, do the same stuff, so you go over there. I see you to Bolt. How you doing over here, you to Bolt? Hanging out with dead bodies, right? All right. You are also an up-close-and-personal guy, so let me have you hook up right there. Okay, so these guys are set to go. Um, everybody else needs to start getting inside over here. Mighty Mikey. Oh, yeah, right, right. I'm being a fucking imbecile here. Uh, Mighty Mikey, um, you have a what? You have an M16. So you go and hang out right there. What else do we have here? Mangina. Mangina, up close and personal guy as well. You go and hang out right there. Okay, who else do we have? Bro Kick, uh, you have a up close and personal type of thing going too. So you go right there. Mangina's already set to go. You have an M24, right? M16, but you can still hit him from afar. So you hang out right there. Batman, you go and hang out right there. Anybody else on this side? Uh, no. Okay. But there's a few, uh, Snaz that is over here hanging out. Snaz, uh, you have a long walk ahead of you, buddy, so you better come and hurry it up over here. And then Penske File has an M24 as well, so you go and hang out. Oh, Penske isn't even, uh, militarized. Militarize Penske and go, I would say, right there. Okay. Let's zoom out and make sure that everybody is moving somewhere. Alrighty. Raids are coming down over here. What is this guy's name? SOS? Yeah, you're going to be needing an SOS after I'm done with you guys. <laughs> see what I did there, guys. SOS, rescue, yeah. Okay, either way. Um, don't, guys, I need you guys to crowd up together and go through here, obviously. You guys want to come in through here. It's wide open. It's kind of like, ooh, this is kind of like Home Alone for them, where it's just kind of like, well, this is wide open here. I wonder why. And then, like, suddenly they go through this fucking maze of booby traps and whatnot. That's essentially what they're kind of setting themselves up for right now. Alright, Sna uh, Penske File is the only one that's not going to be set up in, in, you know, situation for this. Uh, they're going to break up and go to the other side as well. That's something i got to keep in mind, but not at the moment. Not really a big concern at the moment. So I could probably think about set this one off now. Hopefully hit a few. Okay, we got a few of these guys. So now they're going to kind of round the corner here, and this is what I kind of want. I'm really interested in testing out. Hopefully this works out for us. Okay, and there's going to be a few more of these guys coming down this way, it seems. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. They just came in full fucking force, didn't they? Okay, so that worked out pretty well, I'd imagine. Ah, uh, let's see here. These guys are over here just setting shit on fire, though. What are you guys doing? R4 charge rifle, M24. Incinerary launcher. That's no good bueno. Uh, you... An Uzi, Leon Field, Leon Field. Okay, so uh, incendiary launchers is kind of really terrifying. I don't want my shit getting caught on fire. So Melting Cat, if you could kind of uh, start firing at this person here, Mighty Mikey. Same thing for you, and so same thing with Mangina. I really don't want any of my guys catching fire. Not like uh, the Hunger Games sequel movie. Not that type of fire or the book, whatever you want to go for. Okay, Edward. Edward's just kind of like, yep. All right, guys, I'll see you later. I'm gonna walk through this fucking area. Okay, here's the thing, guys. I I'd rather have you not worry about um, Edward at the moment and just start uh, fire attacking at this other Edward. Oh, there's two Edwards involved. And, uh, fire at Fox there. Okay, don't shoot at my own people, you maniacs. Okay, Hogan? Is that Hogan? <gasps> Hulk Hogan! Oh shit, we gotta catch Hulk Hogan now. Okay, um, 
here is the thing. You guys are shooting at my own people, which is terrifying. So you fire at Edward. You fire at this other Edward. And then Mangina, you fire at uh, the Minstrel. And in terms of Hulk Hogan, Anderson the Oaf is hanging out over here. And so is this guy. Uh, Moldat took quite a beating right there from that area, so... Let's let them walk by really quickly. Okay, so, a few more are down. Penske File is about to go and open the door for them either way, so it's not a really big concern, Harry. Studios hit this guy as well. Uh, did I aim at this person? I think I did. And Batman. Batman, Batman, and Batman. Fire over here. And one... The, the researcher Fox is kind of melee attacking us, and unfortunately he went down. Alright, so, Hogan is gonna be, you know, good to go here. What are these guys doing? Uh, there's a 1-2 going this way, and there's a few just kind of scavenging about. Okay, here's what I want you guys to do. I need you guys to stop what you're doing and go hang out back here for now. Or hang out back there for now. Hogan is imperative that we catch Hulk Hogan, guys. I, I sort of fucking got it. You guys better not knock him out. So, you go melee attack Hogan. Actually, let's just start melee attacking all around. How about that? Melee attack here. And you go and help out with Hogan as well. You start working on melee attacking here. And same with you. And then you two. Not you two, like with Steve Bono. Uh, you guys go and hang out back over there. Okay, Hogan, stop running off. And Penske, if you could give us a hand with, um... I guess this person as well. Um, Penske, Anderson, right. Molda, how are you doing? 79 and 90, uh oh. So you know what, Batman, go and give, um, Molda a hand. I'm scared as to what could happen here. Okay, so, otherwise, other than that, let's see, um... Oh, they're fighting a crazy boom right over there. Dang, these raiders are pretty nice, they're just coming in here to help me out, if anything. Okay, uh, Moldad, 49, Batman, 100, Edward, 60, okay. So we might... We might have Moldat start retreating soon enough. Moldat is at 40. Oh, no. We don't need to have to do that, honestly. Oh, and we uh, unfortunately killed this person, meaning you guys need to stop what you're doing and go and hang out back over there. Meanwhile, how are we doing here? Broke Kick gets at 80. Hogan is at 68. Need a bolt's at 80. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Knock somebody out. Knock Hulk Hogan out for sure. I swear to God, if you guys don't knock Hogan out, I'm going to be really upset. Oh, you killed Edward. Okay. Uh, you guys, stop it. And go back and hang out over here meanwhile. No, not outside. Inside. Hogan is at what? 38? Settler. Uh, melee almost at 4 for you to bolt. He's at 60, though. And Bro Kick is almost at 62. Um, how's your melee, though? A little bit worse. Okay, come on. Knock him out. Knock Hulk Hogan out. Come on, give, give him the fucking leg drop or something. Oh, we knocked him out! We knocked Hogan out! Yes! Okay. Uh, sorry if I killed anybody's ear right now. I'm just really excited. Uh, Hogan! Capture Hulk Hogan, yes, bitch. Yes, take Hogan. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, and what are these raiders doing? Go over here! Yes, okay, they're finally coming down over here, which is good. So now we have to kind of break these guys down again, so... Snezid and you guys go and hang out right there there for now, and then you guys go and hang out over there for now. You to bolt, uh, you're kind of a little bit damaged, that's for sure, so let's go ahead and have you hang out through there. Zeef the engineer is just coming at us full fucking force. By the way, nice, uh, being on fire, Karo. <laughs> you crazy fool. Alrighty. You know what? We might just be able to go and start fucking melee attacking this guy with Mangina. Let's do that. He's, got, he's only got a pistol. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no. Guys, don't kill him. You guys don't know what you're doing. Don't, don't shoot at him. Just worry about this person coming over here. Zaif, you fool. Stop shooting Mangina, you maniacs. Don't, don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. Come on, Mangina, knock him out. No, Mangina. You failed me for the last time, Mangina. Alright, do you guys go and hang out right there, and then you two... Not you three, you two, I said. You two go and hang out over here. Mangina, post up right there. Okay, we have another person coming in right here. And this guy's got an Uzi. He's down to 72 health. Okay. Don't kill him, just... Alrighty, oh, he is so almost dead. Alrighty. 
Maybe Mangina could go in there and start doing a little bit of melee attack on him. You guys, here, you crazy individuals. Go and hang out down here meanwhile now. And you crazy fucks as well, go over here. And you guys, over here taking pot shots. Stop it, you go down over here. Come on, Mangina, knock him out! Ah, you killed him, and now they're fleeing. Cowards. You guys are cowards! This guy never even came close to us. He just decided to catch on fire and then run off. And then you have, uh, who is this, Vladimir? Vladimir the politician? Yeah, good job, Vladimir Putin. Yeah, you, you book it right there, bro. Okay, either way, they're gonna book it and that's good to go. And another successful raid, and now we have Hulk Hogan, of all people, in the base, which I'm really excited about. Just because I grew up with wrestling, I'm a fucking man-child like that way. But I grew up with the good wrestling, not today's wrestling. I mean, you know. Call it nostalgia, call it whatever you want, it's just not as good as it used to be, and you know, anybody will tell you that, honestly. Alright, so Hulk Hogan has been recruited. Thank you for that bro kick, you can kinda go off and do your thing now. SOS is running through there, whatever. You book it. Cairo, is Cairo even gonna make it, honestly? He's on fire. It, what if he knocks out on, through the fire? And then we could catch him, that'd be pretty cool, right? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Come on, Cairo! Ah, you fool, you died. What the fuck? Who died over here? Why is this person dead? That's pretty weird. Alrighty, you know what? Let's actually just pick all this shit up since it's here. Might as well. We're gonna have to be some, doing some traveling up there anyway. Alright, what else do we have going on here? We have to do a lot of hauling though. That's gonna be a, a, one of my biggest concerns soon enough. And getting all these bodies up and going. Same with the weapons. Make this legible and... Uh Fuck. Let me just get the weapons, right, guys? God damn it. R4 charge rifle, good. M24 and a Lee Enfield over here. And we got Hogan's pistol. I'm i I'm glad that Hogan design decided to go like melee on us. He would have fucking wrecked our shit, you know, just fucking giving us the power punch all the time and dropping leg kicks and everything. Need that fire to be taken care of, by the way. Okay. Overall though, really, really good. And you know what? This was a pretty this wasn't even set up properly because we don't even have the proper debris up in the front right now. I mean, imagine once we have the debris to kind of slow them down. We'll be able to hurt them quite a bit before they even get into the base and we could kind of uh, do what we're doing, but at the same time, like, actually send my guys in and start doing some melee like we were just doing, and that's going to give us a lot of opportunities to catch a lot more uh, raiders this time around. So I'm really excited about that for sure. And now that that's done with, let's go ahead and fast forward this. Everybody fix whatever needs to be fixed. And um, again, the big thing over here is going to be getting bodies and getting all these corpses out of the way. You know what? Let's actually start manually uh, prioritizing that. Um, hauling Seth. Penske. Oh, Penske can't fucking haul. God damn it, Penske. Over here, I was, I was the whole time I was giving Herb shit and uh, for not being able to do much, the Stonejaw guy, before I switch him over to Herb. And now, you're, in reality, he's the guy who can't even haul. They are going to put some debris up there in the front, which is actually pretty important. You to bolt, he's uh, putting weapons in the weapons area. Herb, where are you going? Herb, you can't do that just yet. I need you to get this body out of the way. Mold that if you could kind of uh, haul this person off, and then you haul Edward off. And you get these bodies out of the area here so that they're not over here freaking out about bodies being in the way, Herb. I'm sorry, Herb. I'll send you to do whatever you need to do soon enough. Let me just uh, get all this out of the way here. Good. There's more bodies over here, by the way. Alrighty, and Hogan. How are you doing over here, Hogan? Is everything good with you, sir? I mean, I'll treat you like a fucking king. I'll extend this whole prison for you right now and give you like a king-sized bed. Most of my viewers tell me not to treat you guys so well, but it's Hulk Hogan, I have to treat him well, goddammit. What you gonna do, brother, when the 24-inch pythons come after us? Is 24-inch pythons? That doesn't even sound really good, right? It should be bigger than that, 24 pythons? 24-inch pythons? I feel like I'm talking about penises when I say that too, by the way. Either way, uh, let's see, um... How are we doing? We're still doing a bit of hauling. By the way, guys, there's, uh, bodies over here that I'd like you to take care of, FYI. Um, like so. Snazit, can you give me a hand over here? Oh, Snaz doesn't even haul. Mighty Mikey, give me a hand here. Uh, Mangina, where are you running off to to get some food, it seems? Alright, Mangina, after you eat, though, I need you to do some, uh, good hauling for us. Same with you, uh, Harry. Harry, don't run off. Forget about hauling metal right now, guys. I need bodies out of the way, just so you guys aren't freaking out about having an ugly environment. What do we have here? Moon is Eclipse? Yeah, right. It likes doing that. Alright, Mangina, let's see. We do still have a few more bodies over here. Jimmy, I need you to take care of Jimmy, and you need to take care of uh, Nev. Nev Campbell. 
and you take care of uh, this guy and then mold that if you can get rid of this guy and that'll do it for at least the bodies near us there's a few more up here but whatever we'll do that later speaking of which uh, there is a little bit of hauling to be done inside of here get this shit out of the way okay and how is our metal 4300 you know what I think our metal is pretty much good enough now to actually start thinking about uh, expanding um, concrete inside of the actual base and that's what I'm gonna actually set up right now so, um, let's go with concrete for this area, and then we'll do metal on the other section. No reason why, just because, um, it's there already. Metal's already there, and I want to switch up concrete this time around. I never played with concrete before, so... I mean, not like I was a carpenter or, like, you know, a construction worker in my latter life. It was kind of like, oh, I never really played with, uh, concrete before. It was just all work and no fun. Makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, why I'm quoting, uh, The Shining is really beyond me, but either way. Continue onward over here, and there is uh, more hauling to be done here. Uh, I really hope that they actually fill this out correctly. I mean, this whole area here is kind of really worrying me. It's kind of like, why is it showing up there? Why not from the other side? Oh, and there's quite a few bodies in there, as a matter of fact. Um, you know what? Herb, Herb, you are our designator uh, killing machine this time around. So, let me have you, sir, go and get yourself some Molotov cocktails, and we will start burning those bodies in there. All right, don't run off. Now go in here. Yeah, you know the routine. Look at him. He's he's like so he's Herb is so anxious to set these bodies ablaze. All right, there you go. Shoot her. No, don't don't go inside. You crazy fool. He's so he's he's a maniac. That's what he is. All right, so shoot her right there. A few more. All right. That should do it, honestly. Move back here and get one right there, just in case. Okay, that's good enough. That was a really bad shot, Herb. You can run off now. Stop it, Herb. Okay, and that should pretty much take care of those bodies for sure. No big deal there. Alrighty. And concrete's about to set up over here. And, oh man, we definitely need to start cleaning out the base, though. That's for sure. <laughs> it looks fucking terrible over here. And since they can't uh, build over this, let's go ahead and cancel this out there. And let's see. Set this off to be hauled. Good. All right. So everything's been kink, uh, set up with concrete there, and now, um, that didn't cost us too much, right? Okay, you know what? Let's just go and finish it off and put, uh, metal through this section here. That's good, and then let's put metal here, and fuck it, let's just make it all metal here. Alright. And that's gonna make this whole section set off, and, you know, basically I'm doing this just to let fires don't really spread throughout the inside of my bases and whatnot. Um, I could do the same in here, obviously, but I don't think it's that much of a concern as opposed to areas that actually get invaded through uh, raiders and whatnot. Industrial trader? Okay. Where is Batman? Old bats. Bat signal. I should I should probably get like a mod that gives you like a bat signal so I could call Batman over whenever I do need him. Alright, Batman, you go and handle some communications for us really quickly here. Alright. Overall, looking pretty good. I'm actually... Oh, man, you know what? I should actually give uh, these guys their own, you know, rooms as well. Okay, after you guys set the floor, I'll start giving you guys rooms. My bad, I forgot all about that. Industrial Trader, and yeah, they're gonna have metal for us, which is good. Let's get all that metal off of their hands. Alright, thank you guys. And let's see, is there anything I can sell you guys? Oh, you guys don't deal with anything else, do you? Alright. I have a lot of food I can actually sell you, but you guys don't really buy food at a good price, so... I'm gonna say no to that. Okay, and you know what? Something else we could do is start deconstructing the graves that um, no longer have any bodies in them. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, really good. Really fucking good. And let's see. I'd like to designate cleaning at some point. Um, especially in here. This looks like a fucking catastrophe. I know what to do, game. You stop it. You're not even giving me proper alerts right now. See, I know how to. I know what to do so well that the game's just kind of like um. It doesn't give me something to do, it's just kind of like, hey, um, hey, check alerts, by the way. You could, you know, figure out what to do there. It's like, I'm already coasting through the game quite easily, bro. You need to relax. AI director, classic Cassandra, Randy, random, Randy Newman, whatever your name is. It'd be pretty cool if it was Randy Newman was an AI director. Earl here in RimWorld. All right, either way, guys, you know what? Let's actually cut the episode here. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of uh, dragging on at this point. 
And we have a good thing going on here. Uh, next episode, if time allows us, we're going to actually do a little bit of cleaning. How about that? Just because uh, my area looks pretty pick, pick shit disgusting over here for sure. And um, I'd like this to look a little bit prettier, honestly. So we're going to clean up this area next time around. And um, let's see. Other than that, we have Hulk Hogan to recruit. <gasps> I'm a fool. Hogan, I, I apologize. Try to recruit. Fucking try to recruit him always. Everybody go and rec everybody go have a nice chat with Hogan right now, goddammit. You know what? I'm going to cut this episode now so I could actually talk to him myself. All right, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I go and encourage you to click that thumbs up and really easy to do. And the support really means a lot. Uh, either way, though, I'll catch you next time. And by the way, Hogan will be renamed to one of you guys, obviously. As much as it pains me to do so. Uh, whoever gets Hogan, though, consider yourself lucky. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.